So, one of the better things about Windows 7 is that it has support to play um, QuickTime videos. Normally, um, with Windows Vista and below, you would actually have to, uh, oh, can you guys see that? You guys would um, have to download the QuickTime player just, just to watch a QuickTime video or uh, one of the QuickTime movies. I'm going to show you guys uh, an example. So it's starting up again. Also, um, it's very similar to Windows Vista, just it's more of a more complete operating system compared to Vista being extremely bu buggy when it first came out. And uh, Windows 7 actually uses less system uh, resources than Vista. Finally, starting Windows pops up. Sorry guys, I just got back, so I gotta start on my computer again. Again, for those who don't know, this is on the Mac Mini. Running Windows 7. This is the welcome screen. As you can see Windows 7 Ultimate. Okay, that's my background. Years of War. Okay. okay, here I'm gonna show you guys an example real quick. Oh, in Windows 7, if uh, you can set, you can uh, configure it to. Um, display multiple wallpapers for example you would go to personalize you know right click on the desktop and go to personalize see that they personalize and then you actually you know, choose themes right now I'm using Gears of War 2 theme and um, there's actually you see here there are multiple backgrounds you can choose if you select all, you can change. You can um, set a specific time. They would change like every 10 seconds or 10 minutes or you know whatever you want. Okay, now back to the uh, to the video demo. Okay, so here I have. Hold on a second. Um, okay. I I recorded videos in in uh, quick time format. So you can see this is my book one real quick. Okay, this is my ROTC video. So you can see, and it's a quick time movie. Hold on real quick. So now I'm gonna open it. And this is actually Windows Media Player 12. Okay, over here. It is playing. It's playing um, um, a QuickTime video, really, really good. And this is actually the same camera I used to record this video, but I recorded this video in, in HD during my trip to San Francisco. So as you can see here, I'll open up another video. Close this one. All right, and these um, are all QuickTime movies. All QuickTime movies, see? And they're all playing in Windows Media Player. See that? That's one of the um, newer features inside of Windows 7. Um, 
Basically, uh, the task bar changed, I mean, the start menu changed a bit. Well, not that much. Just that it doesn't have the buttons up here anymore, where it used to have, like, the permanent ones. Control panel looks like this. Very similar. Um, that's about it, I guess. Oh, let me show you Shake. This is one of the new features. So I'm gonna open about four windows. Okay, here we go. Now, you see how clear this is? Okay, uh, Firefox is still loading a bit. Okay, there's my Windows Media Player. 12. Um, oh, and by the way, this uh, is actually uh, using DirectX 11, and I'll prove it to you. See, I'm using uh, DirectX uh, Diag. Alright, so you guys can see that. As you can see, DirectX 11, system manufacturer, Apple, because this is the Mac Mini. So you can see CPU, CPU, okay. Alright, now back to the shake feature. Now let's just say I just want to, um, to use my Internet Explorer and have these other windows open. So all I would do, shake it, see that? All the windows I wasn't using minimized. Now let's just try Media Player. The only one to use Media Player. Shake it. See, these are the newer features. And these, um, remember what I showed you guys earlier? Uh, the background with the themes and all that? They actually come with their own sound package. Meaning that if you change, here I'll show you. If you change, any of these themes, you actually change the sound theme with it. So if I think the United States, turn up the volume a bit, you actually hear a sound. See, and that's the United States. And if I go to ski scenes, nature, landscapes, characters, architecture, and Windows 7, but I just like to use Gears of War 2. So, yeah. Alright. See you guys later. I'll make more videos in the future.